right guys, this is Super Review Show here for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer review for the second movie that's coming out uh, June 3rd next year, 2016. Uh, initial impressions. I really enjoyed this trailer. Um, I'm going to leave a link for it in the description below. Um, not only that, I, a, lot, a lot of things that stood out to me about this trailer. Number one, the, tur the turtles themselves are the main focus of this trailer, which I really, really, really enjoyed. Uh, another thing that I noticed that hu the human characters are backed off a little bit, so that way the turtles are the main focus, and not let's say Megan Fox is leading the movie. You know that that I like that a lot. Even though Megan Fox is a not really an actress per se, but she's in the movie. Uh, she's gonna be, have a presence, obviously. Also, another thing that I noticed was that uh, so it was the turtles. Everyone, else? yes, um, Casey Jones, Stephen Amell. Yeah, he normally he, he's a TV actor per se, but he took this role. I'm sure he read the script and they said, "Look, why don't we get Stephen Amell? Let's let him read the script and see if he wants to fit in." And apparently, because like he, when he picks roles, typically when Stephen Amell picks roles, he picks them out like he says, "I want to be this role because I can fit this character well." So he did that, and now he's in the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows trailer. So there you go, as Casey Jones, and he's playing the he's doing the hockey stick and stuff. Total Casey Jones. Now, what also this trailer showed me was I am actually working on getting the original black and white Eastman and Lords Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles black and white comic books because they are dark and they are deadly. And the movie was the the most recent 2014 movie was actually a mixture of both. It was both humor and dark at some points. So I like that they bled the two into one and created this movie. I know a lot of people are like, "What the f is this? This is terrible!" But like. I had a good time with it. I didn't go see it in the theaters. I waited till it came out on Netflix. But I, overall, I really enjoyed the the uh, the movie, the Teenage Mutant Ninja, Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. I mean, I didn't hate it, but I I, I liked it a lot. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as say I loved it, but I definitely I definitely had a good time with it. It was funny at some points. I got a lot of one liners. Great time overall. But and then this movie kind of kept that same tone of the dark with the light, um, and I really liked how they did that. Also, near the last thirty seconds of this trailer. Bebop and Rocksteady show up, and that is one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. Like the two characters of Bebop and Rocksteady are just they're standing here, right? And the turtles are standing here, and then they start they attack the turtles. And, then, and um, Leonardo's like, "Whoa, man!" You know, they're all going at it, and they're just going crazy. I, I really like how they're introducing more and more of the turtle characters into the movie universe that they've created. Um, now there was reports that a Bumblebee-like character from the Transformers franchise would be in this. Nothing's been confirmed though, so we don't know yet. But if he is in the movie, we'll have to find out until June third. Um, I loved uh, overall impressions. I really enjoyed this trailer quite a quite a bit. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, no, no, nothing that showed uh, that I saw worried me. Like the music choice, Run DMC's. It's tricky. Come on, can't beat that. Uh, other things they chose. Um, oh, oh, overall, it's a pretty good trailer. I really enjoyed it. And this is one of the things that Paramount is not messing up. The Star Trek's been going great. The Transformers franchise has been doing <laughs> for the past few years. Uh, G.I. Joe is getting back on track. Paramount, I think Paramount as a whole is stepping up their game by making their properties better and better. I mean, Terminator Genesis, a lot of people hated it. I loved it. But overall, I think Paramount and Mission Impossible, Paramount's good. But they're, they're slowly increasing their franchises better to make, make them better and better. But overall, that's, that's besides the point. Overall, this trailer is awesome, and I'm going to leave a link for it in the description below so you can check it out. So for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer review, keep it locked on the Super Review Show. I'll see you later.